Hey guys, AP Builds, and we are back again with the TTR 125 LE. And today we are going to be discussing what exactly we need to do in this episode. So what we're going to have to be doing is we're going to be replacing the idler gear because the idler gear is what connects to the starter and spins over the engine when the electric starter is engaged and it is really stripped. So we're going to have to replace it. As you guys can see from last video, we did install some new grips, a new kill switch, and you guys would be know you guys would know this if you guys kept up on the TikTok, which will this is the username. Go follow it. And we also installed a new Thrill Seekers seat cover, and we got the custom badge on the side of it. Looks really clean, and it'll match the graphics that we have lined up for it. So now let's get to draining the oil and opening up the left side case. So let's get started. As we can see, the, the oil is just about done there. You know, getting its final little drips. Um, some stuff did come out of there um like some little like metal pieces which we will see if that you know i don't know what that exactly means for inside the engine um if that maybe was the result of the dude that we bought it from manufacturing or fabric fabbing up some sort of little drain plug that we have here um yeah um i guess the original drain plug was stripped um that could have been it i don't know but some little metal chunks did fall out but she runs fine she shifts fine so i'm assuming it's probably from this but it's also not good to have them floating around in the oil while you know gets looped up on all in the parts but we will see when we take off this um side engine case um but yeah so let's just wait for this thing to stop dripping and then we'll get right into removing the side case <laughs> here we got the ignition cover off and as you can see you know just by looking at it we know that the stator is fine the coils are nice and bound together and now let's look at the current idler gear that is inside which the starter turns and i can show you what the exact thing looks like so let's take a look so as you guys can see this is the starter i don't know if you guys can see that but then this is the idler gear which is completely rounded. If you guys can see that, let's focus in a little bit right there in the center. So that is the gear we are going to be replacing. And I have the brand new one right here. The genuine Yamaha Idor gear. And as you guys can see, the thing is supposed to obviously have teeth and that one that is in there does not that being said we're gonna take off this flywheel and access that little gear replace it and then we'll see if the electric start does indeed work so let's get started all right guys we got this out um we got the flywheel and the starter gear out just use this harmonic balancer but now we are going to unbolt this little thing to give us access to the idler gear remove it and install our new one so here we have the new one and the old one you can see it's super rough right here they're not ground down so it's like a really sharp edge the teeth were just taken off so now you can see the difference and we should be able to get our electric start back Alright guys, so we put everything back in, we got the flywheel back in, we got the new idler here, and we, you know, and since this thing was dripping a little bit of oil, we put, um, like an o-ring that goes to like a hose, but, you know, better than nothing that was there, so let's see if this electric start now works, let's give it a crank. Oh my! Hey! <laughs> Let's 